Hello and welcome to the show. We've got the Dash BA, the human powered aircraft out here. It's 133 feet of wingspan, one human powering the aircraft with a single propeller. We're out on the NASA Moffett Ames runway number 14 right. We'll be traveling southbound. The pilot will have about 8,000 feet of runway in front of him. There's hangar one right over there, still uncovered. And we've got a fairly small flight crew running today, but just doing some tests with some longer wing tips. Just seeing how she works, learning how it works. Had some problems with uh, steering today, had an off field uh, landing earlier this morning, but uh, walked the aircraft back. A little bit of damage was repaired. Aircraft is fairly large. I believe it is the largest human powered aircraft out there. And, uh, there's the wing. So coming up a couple of minutes away from its flight, Craig will be flying this aircraft. And uh, he's a very good cyclist. Windsock says there's not much wind. Confirmed, not a lot of wind. A lot of technology in the aircraft. Technology that is beyond my comprehension. And trim wise, I think but, Which will bring that about five minutes once they get them taped inside the aircraft. More left. To make sure they've got it and elevator. Both yeah, the rudder and elevator good. are radio controlled. They've got sir, model airplane transmitter. We're going to be chasing the uh, aircraft with two electric cars, and, but the wind is looking real good right down the runway now, and they're still taking the pilot cyclist into the cabin. Is it later? Okay, so the official word is slip. One of the chases of the aircraft are going to be in that car, and the camera guys chasing are going to be in this car. Camera guy is now in the car. Left is left and right is right. And they don't have airspeed indication on the avionics. Pilots wondering what to do because they don't have airspeed indication yet. What you? The brains of the operation. Because we, we we're trying to avoid the sun. Two, are you ready, Walter? John ready? Six. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Chase two is ready. Chaser one, chaser two. <coughs> okay. Chase two is ready. Go. Okay, walk. We're walking the aircraft. Run. Can you pull a little bit, Alex? There we go. Okay. Eleven. Aircraft is airborne. Uh, 24. Airborne at about 7,500 feet before the end of the runway. You're at a half meter, 23. 
Oh, All right. Okay, we're gonna hop out. Go take a look. <clears throat> yeah, these longer wingtips. We're supposed to make the aircraft more efficient, but it is apparently not making it more efficient. In fact, less efficient. This pilot has flown this aircraft with the shorter wingtips the entire length of the runway before. And today he made it about 2,000 feet. You want me to power it down? Oh, gotcha. I lined it up. You did? I mean, I mean, maybe I screwed it up. But... Yeah, but there's a whole bunch of left that we, we put in. A lot of times it's a head, and then what, a maybe there was something funky with the radio because then after I'd landed, you could see there was a bunch of left locked in. Um, but even even when we I lined it up for Greg and he still went to the left too. Huh. So I don't know. Maybe some of it was the uh, the wind. Yeah. We had to have him put like ten things of right. Oh really? And to get oh, it centered right. again. Yeah. <coughs> so, I mean, maybe I was looking at sort of focus on the wrong part of the wrong part of the tail. When, but for you, it was. Going I was just reading your check, right? Yeah, for me it was pretty good. Yeah, I mean there was also definitely it got started off wrong. It's hard, hard to say how much was when you got going. Yeah. When I, did. I think so. I mean you were. You before Okay, they've just decided that uh, the pilot that is in the aircraft will continue down the rest of the runway. So they're going to open up a little bit of air so that he can. Uh, Breathe a little more comfortably. You gonna go again? Yeah. I was definitely also trying to just dole out the like never spike on the on the power. Yeah. Um that seemed to work relatively nicely when I was like sort of Porp porpoising, porpoising a little bit. Yeah. So just I'm trying to I don't have time not panic to and then not allow yourself to like, oh god, go to hard now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I like sort of, go, yeah. on the one I came down and then tried to push it out so I'd run along and then come up a little bit. I wonder, <coughs> have, none of us have gotten up high with this new wing. I wonder if getting up to like five, six meters. Oh, it might make a difference? Make it smoother, but I don't, I don't yeah. really know. I felt like I, got, like I got high at one point briefly. You got high-ish, but I don't think yeah. you ever got up to five. No, like it was. Uh, maybe three, three and a half. Yeah. I think that. you got over four. I think for a moment there at least, but I think you then. Yeah, well, strong. you bumped up and then you. I think it was lip sync or something. Yeah. And Craig was running like 480 watts there most of the time. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it felt like. I definitely felt like I was more even. Like the takeoff was easier. I thought. I don't know. I was hardly. Hardly going for it. Maybe I'm, I'm comparing it to like every time you gave it any kind of. I'm uh, wondering if we're on the back side of the power curve. Any kind of elevation, yeah. like you just stall. Like right. any time you is pull back still, on the stick, it was stalling. Is he still at eight? Uh, eight clicks. Eight click. Yes. Why don't we do eight eight four down clicks to start with four, and try to fly a little bit faster? And may, you may find that it uses less power, because it seems like it. Like I was noticing that too. Every time you slowed down, it was like you were hitting the brakes. Exactly. Yeah. Every pilot has seen. I just had that today. Pull back and get the brake. You want to try that? Okay. Can I just do four down for you? Okay. Yeah, okay, they're, they're going to trim the aircraft the, for a little like bit more nose down. Mm -hmm. and like Hopefully three, nose down will quit uh, or cancel you out the porpoising. Hopefully. Yeah, okay. Except for when you were But you got to try. Otherwise you don't know. You want us to center you? All right, should we do it again? Yeah, I need to try <coughs> bike. Um, can somebody just sort of do their best job to yeah. get get these well, that line up at the back? We can get ready to go and then do it. Alright, so you want to move forward? Yeah. Right. You know what, if we just align, I think we're close enough to the middle. Yeah. We just rotate. Uh, so, okay, we're, we're good. Fill it up and then we'll move forward. 
Okay. Okay. Got our can of Red Bull ready. We're looking for sponsors. Okay, maybe not. Okay, heading for the second flight. It's going to stay in the aircraft, and we're going to do a second flight. They're talking about going. Chase 2 is ready. Okay, they're doing control surface checks. They've stopped. There's no pedaling going on. Okay. Scientists getting back in Chase vehicle. One ready. Chase two ready. Ready. They walk. Okay, they're walking again. Alex, pull a little bit to your side. Stay a little more. Aircraft. Wing tip. Watch the wing tip. Wing tip. Ah, crap. Tip should have been pulled close to the ground. Planet okay, and that concludes and flight four or five. Five. Uh, <laughs> part, two. part two. Part yeah. two. Craig's. Uh, that was Craig's second flight, and it yes. just kind of didn't work out. So uh, Craig's going to exit the aircraft, and uh, we're going to find out what we need to do. But right now we're at about the 6,000 foot mark of the runway. All right, so we're going to shut down the feed for now. And uh, we'll come back as soon as we get the aircraft ready to fly again. Let me see what's going on. 